here we go. So we've got a problem with the E91. We've got a kicking sensation. The traction control light is coming on, flickering on. Um, it's hesitating. Now this started, the first time it did it was when I went round a roundabout. So I came round the roundabout and it kind of like didn't, I wasn't going fast, but it was kicking. I got a bit of weight in the back. The traction control light flicked in. Almost as if it thought it was skidding. It was, there was some kind of uh, skid going on. But from experience, we know that's not the case with this. It's a known fault on these E90s, E91s, where the ABS rings on the back corrode. They swell um, and give problems with ABS warning lights just like this. So what I've been doing is pressing the DTC button, which then switches the traction control off and you're able to drive the car and you can drive it quite well until the problem gets worse and the rings swell and expand a bit more and they catch into the sensor and then it throws the ABS system into spasm. So that'll bring your ABS light on. Um, the ABS light doesn't go out, it stays on. But anyway, it doesn't affect the driving of the car, it still drives well, you still can switch off the traction control to keep you driving. But we're gonna try a little put in a washer and space in the ABS sensor first. I'm gonna give that a go and I will be ordering the uh, ABS ring and changing that at a later date and we'll do a video on that as well. So uh, let's get on, let's get this washer in that. Well, if we can get the sensor out, it's gonna be tight. I know it is, it's been in there a while. Well, it might not be, I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna come out, but I'm always a bit skeptical. This car is now, it's a 2010, so it's nine years old. So it's been in there a good while. And nine times out of 10, it's the near side sensor or ring that gives the problems it's the one that gets all dirty and wet the most and it corrodes quicker so we've got the abs sensor coming down here let's get in there i've put some uh, i've given it a squirt with the uh, rust off just to free it off a bit now if you have a code reader you can check before you start to see which side is faulty to save you doing both it saves a lot of time that's a five mil Allen key bolt. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get it out with a pair of pliers on it. Now it's important to be gentle with this because it is only made of plastic and you, you can give it too much and snap it quite easily. So just gently as she goes. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And gently, gently, gently. Just try and pull, pull it out. I think it's coming. Here it comes. Probably get behind it with a little screwdriver and just prise it out a bit. There we go. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. Now we can have a look at that. It's not worn through the bottom of it, but it's definitely touched it at some point. You can see it's got marks on the bottom. Let's get it out of the way. And I can show you inside there. So as I rotate the disc on this side and it turns this, this drive shaft, you can actually see there, that's the ABS ring that's pressed onto the end of that drive shaft there, rotating. As it goes round, you can see where it's swollen, where the rust, see how corroded it is down there behind that little ring. And just see the marks on it now as it's coming round, it's getting shinier where it's been rubbing. Um, that's where it, the, the corrosion's got underneath and it's raised that ring up. Look at that, look there, very shiny there. And that's the part that's been touching the bottom of the sensor and it goes dull and dirty again, look. Now, as soon as that touches the bottom of the ring, it creates an incorrect signal it's almost creating a resonance within the sensor which is causing it to fail and that's the problem there he goes look there's the shiny bit look you can see that so what we're going to try to start with is I'm just going to put a washer behind this and put it back in again and just see if that will stop the fault coming on we will need to change that ring on the drive shaft and that'll be a job to follow so what I've managed to find is this tiny, tiny, really thin washer. I put my, my bolt through, I put the washer on the back of that sensor, like that. And then when I put that back down again, it's just going to hold that off by a, a thou on there, which hopefully will be enough 
to just get us by for a bit. Let's just nip that down. Okay, that's nipped up. So that is now just slightly away from the, the ring, which should just give us a little bit of clearance and hopefully stop the light coming on. We'll soon see. Let's chuck this wheel back on again. The BOBD dongle. Let's stick that in the old. If you've seen my original videos uh, on the EOBD code readers, I've got the um, I've got the app on my phone. I'm just going to erase the codes now with this. I've got the original video on this EOBD scanner program uh, to erase these faults. It's worth checking out if you've not seen it. I won't go into it all. There's the faults though. The 5D B2 tells you what's wrong there. We're going to erase those. Okay, so that's the codes erased. Let's try the car. Moment of truth. So far, so good. All the warning lights are out. Shut the thing down. Let's move and see if it comes back on. Bingo. So. That seems to be picking up everything as it should, and it's, the lights have, have gone out. So uh, I think we, I think we've bided ourselves a little bit of time there, enough time to organise ordering one of those ABS rings off the internet. So the BMW lives on to fight another day. I hope that's been of use to you because it's an interesting one. I've got a few videos on various ABS faults, including the starts of this. Uh, I, I made that a long, long while ago. It must be at least two years ago. Um, but say the E91 has just had this issue. I hope that's been of use to you. If it has, drop me a little thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>